Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently feeling about you. Uh, what are they thinking, feeling about you, and what are their intentions towards you. We'll also look at what they wish they could tell you at this time. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so you know the drill. I'm reading for a lot of different Gemini, so not everything will resonate 100%. Take what resonates for you. So let's see. For Gemini, spirits, angels, guides. What do we need to know regarding the person that Gemini is or will be connecting with? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini? What are their thoughts, energies for Gemini? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini? Towards Gemini. Okay, we have far apart, distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. So we could, this could be someone that's uh, literally like distant, like a long-term, not long-term, long distance connections, um, or someone that feels very far from you. We have taking action, moving forward. Interesting. So whoever this is, they, I feel like they want to come in. Um, they're, they're far from you. Maybe they are going through some sort of transition with moving forward, um, leaving a situation on a journey of some sort. Um, taking action is here. Time to make a move. So I, I just get the sense that whoever this is, Gemini, and I, again, <laughs> I feel like I always get similar messages for Gemini readings, which tells me the message is the message. <laughs> I feel like I'm speaking to a Gemini who has not been with this person for some time. Sorry, that was my dog in the background. There's distance between you. This could be emotional distance. Um, this is someone that's too far away to visit or call or feel so far away that you can't just show up and talk to them. Um, but with taking action moving forward, I'm getting the sense that this person wants to close that gap or bridge that divide. What's at the bottom of the deck? Inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. So this could be somebody whose um, intuition has been guiding them, who's been listening to their heart, their their um, their uh, what their gut is telling them, their gut instincts, right? Wishing well is after that. So I think that this is someone that's discovering or has a desire for what they truly want somehow you're roped into that Gemini let's see what else can we get uh, Gemini also make sure that you check out your moon your rising sign any other sign of significance for you in your birth chart all of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box sometimes those messages can resonate more what else there what else do we need to know about this person that Gemini is has or will be dealing with what else do we need to know about this person their thoughts feeling towards Gemini I see you in my dreams and I have a choice to make yeah this person I don't think you're with this person or have been with this person for some time this person's uh, dreaming about you thinking of you obviously here feels like they have to make a choice in order to come forward um, what else? What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Gemini? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else do we need to know for Gemini? When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Oh yeah, definitely. This person, they're uh, dreaming about you, thinking about you, looking you up, Gemini. Looking at photos of you. Maybe online, social media, perhaps. What else do you need to know? And you would only do that if this person is not around, right? Like, why would you be looking at someone's photos if you could just turn to them, right, and look at them? Um, I can't deny that you are my soulmate. Yeah, there's a connection here that's very strong. This person feels it. I think their inner voice or their intuition is guiding them to uh, regarding this. Um, I feel like this is something that they can't ignore. Maybe they've tried to ignore it. Maybe they've, they thought distance would help, um, but I don't think it's working, obviously, if they're thinking about you and dreaming of you like they are. 
Okay, so let's see what the tarot says. What do we need to know for Gemini regarding this other person? What are their thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Gemini spirit? What are this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Gemini? I'm starting to think that this is someone that um, already kind of knows you, Gemini. Uh, I feel like you, if they don't know you, they've seen you somewhere. And maybe like it's one of those things where it's like you can't stop thinking about that one random person that you saw while you were out and about. But I think a lot of you here, most of you, this person already knows you. What else do we need to know for Gemini? Okay. So let's see what we get for you, Gemini. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Gemini? We have the Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands Reverse, and the Ace of Cups Reverse. What are their intentions, our actions going to be towards Gemini? Queen of Swords Reverse, King of Swords, and Five of Swords. Mmm. Bottom of the deck, I have the six of one. Okay, so this is like um, someone that I feel is uh, it's like they wake up one day having, you know, a certain, I don't know, like a goal in mind. And then the next day it's like, no, I can't do that. This is someone that's emotionally wrapped up in you in some way. Emotions are like turmoil, I think that's the word, where when they think about you, it's not all amazing feelings, right? Either they've screwed up at some point or your connection has some sort of baggage or the history between you is tainted in some way or damaged. Um, otherwise, why the distance, right? And I think that this person, it, it's, it's preventing them from moving forward even though this is exactly what they want yeah six of wands and then the knight of cups reverse i think emotionally this person is torn up about you doesn't know what to think what to feel um maybe they're still processing how they feel and that's why their intuition is so important here uh, because i feel like in a lot for a lot uh, regarding a lot of this connection they're very confused not sure how to move forward not sure what to do next um, and I think it's because of the way things might have ended between you. Um, this person has a choice to make. So I wonder what that is because, I don't know, it's, it, this could be something where this person would literally have to either move or talk to you. King of Swords is here. But I think this person thinks, you know, it, it's almost like either, I have a feeling they want to talk about what happened. And if they want to talk about what happened, if they would have to be vulnerable in some way or emotionally um they would have to talk about like their emotional struggles you know regarding this connection with the five of swords here the ace of cups reverse right on top of it queen of swords reverse king of swords i think that uh, communication stopped and this person wants to open it up again but how how are we how am i going to do that with gemini how can i work on things with gemini three of pentacles when they think about you, they want to fix things is what I'm getting here. But how do you even start? It's kind of, you know, I it, again, I feel like this is someone that's really having a hard time processing or pro, um, filter, filtering through all the different emotions that they're having. It's not so simple. It's not just I love Gemini. There's a lot more that goes into it. I think some of you, I don't know what happened between you and this person, but I think this was a connection where the way it ended is something that this person can't let go of. It's like something must have happened between you um, that that it is just not easy to shake. I think this person, maybe years have passed here and they still are kind of thinking about you. So let's see, let's see what we what we can get here for Gemini. Now, the Knight of Swords is reversed, which tells me this is someone that's overcoming their fear, their anxiety, um, overcoming possibly feelings of guilt. Let's start there. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? The Sun and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that's overcoming 
um, guilt, fear, anxieties, and, and, and enough to want to move forward or take some sort of action. Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody wanting to come forward and apologize to you or express themselves to you in a very genuine, sincere way with the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. What do we need to... Okay, the Moon. Yeah, Pisces energy. Exactly. This is someone that doesn't really even know how to feel. Um, maybe they've hidden their feelings, suppressed their feelings, pretended that everything was okay, that they weren't affected but they they totally were um because i think this person still wants to come forward despite uh the turbulence inside <laughs> i feel like every time that i want to talk about these this person's emotions i can't just say they're heartbroken it has to be some sort of weird term <laughs> um tell me about the three of pentacles tell me about the three of pentacles what do we need to know about this three of pentacles king of wands a lot of uh era fire energy here that's come up so far. What else for the Three of Pentacles? What else? Judgment. Oh yeah, this is definitely somebody that wants to kind of like work on this to revive it. Uh, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like uh, Judgment is a great card um, to, to have with a card of action like the King of Wands, Knight of Wands. <clears throat> ace of wands because it kind of tells you that they're connected this awakening that someone's having this realization that someone's having someone that's looking back at the past at all of the lessons they've learned um the mistakes they've made you know that has led them to this point they're processing all of that but they're also going to do something about it it's not just a realization there's action behind it and I think this action has to do with communication with the Queen of Swords or, you know, it's just uh, having to do with you. Oh, Seven of Swords and the Hermit. Oh, see, they're trying to figure this out. See, I feel like this is someone, Virgo energy with the Hermit, that feels like you're a Queen of Swords or sees you as a Queen of Swords Nine of Wands. Not easy to approach, someone that might not trust them, someone that might be wary around them. And so they're trying to figure out, how do I f balance this out? How do I heal this, fix this? What's my strategy, right? What what do I need to do to approach Gemini? I'm speaking to a Gemini who's who this person, for some reason, they would be intimidated or scared to talk to you or approach you. So that's how they're feeling. That This is what they're feeling, thinking when it comes to you. Um, let me get one more for the King of Wands and Judgment. Can I get one more, please, for the King of Wands and Judgment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not picking up that this person is being deceptive when they come forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. More like, how do I how do I do this? How do I do this? Strength, Ten of Swords, Six of Wands. Yeah, Six of Wands is the goal, but the Ten of Swords is in the way. So I'm getting almost like there must have been a bad ending between you. And it, it, so this person needs courage, strength, Leo energy. Um, this person needs to use a different approach to bring back uh, control or to take control of the situation. So what are their intentions, next actions going to be? I want to look at this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles, okay. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? This one. Page of Swords. Okay, so they want to talk about the future. There's a Six of Wands again. This is someone that wants to talk about the future. A future where they're going to take their time with you or do things right. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Eight of Swords, fear. Yeah, I feel like this person, they go back and forth between, I'm just going to talk to Gemini today. I'm going to send that message today. <laughs> and then they don't. They're, they're too scared to do it. There's the strength card again. Um, and then other days, they're going to do it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to tell her straight up or tell him straight up that I want a future with them. Or that, you know, I want to hash out whatever happened between us. They need to know how I feel. Tell me about this Five of Swords. But with the Five of Swords and Seven of Wands, of, not Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, I don't know. 
I feel like this person, they might sabotage this without meaning to, or their approach might not be the best approach. Eight of Wands and the Fool. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to have a new beginning, but in order to do that, I feel like you need to talk about what happened. Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. Can I get one more for the Five of Swords? Five of Swords is a card about someone that doesn't want to lose. They want to win at all costs. Yeah, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Um, this person wants to move past what happened um, into something new with you, I feel. The Fool, the Chariot. You know, let's talk things out. Let's, let's address the elephant in the room and move forward. Let's just be together. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Can I get one more for this person's intentions, energies? Can I get one more, please? One more energy for this person's intentions, energies towards Gemini. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's intentions, energies towards Gemini? Yeah, the buffalo is someone very steady. They know it, yeah, and then the elk is kind of like the king of pentacles. These two are very like strong earth energies. Um, buffalo is, is someone that knows that the road ahead is tough. The road ahead has challenges, but they're going to just go the steady pace onward. You know, it doesn't matter how hard it gets. They're just going to basically be true to themselves and do what they know best. <laughs> So I feel like this is someone that their approach or at least their goal is to be very grounded, rational, steady. So that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this bonus reading. I hope you enjoyed it. This was basically everything about how your person was thinking, feeling uh, for you at this time. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more readings from me in the future. Thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.